So we are outside the Ronalda House Museum of American Art. This is Phil Archer. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, kid. Thank you for having us. So this is a must stop when you come and visit Winston-Salem. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the history of this home and why it's such a special place here. It's special because of how much is preserved of all this gorgeous green space. So this is 170 acres of what was once over a thousand acres. And it was a farm. It was a really progressive, modern farm, but designed in a way that made you feel like you were in the old country, you know, uh, visiting Europe. So Catherine Smith Reynolds and her husband R.J. Reynolds, uh, in a way, reflected the success of the company that grew by leaps and bounds in the 1890s and 1900s, especially with Camel cigarettes coming in, out in 1913. So Catherine, in her ambitions to uh, create a kind of ideal country li li lifestyle, had at her disposal all the resources she needed mm. to create um, what was called the most progressive farm in the country. Yeah, and inside, the, the, the preservation is really so important. That's what makes it such a cool place to walk through. It's primarily a museum of American art, so you get the entire story of American art uh, through the centuries at Rinalda, but you're seeing it inside a home. So you get the feeling of, of being in, in, a, in a comfortable house, even though it's a huge house. It was designed to be comfortable. They always called it the bungalow, and it in some ways is a bungalow, just the biggest one in the world. But you're, you're going through the centuries, you're looking at these masterpieces, but in a, in a cozy kind of environment. And that, that makes Ronaldo pretty special. And there are some pretty remarkable pieces of art that sit in this building. So the art is dispersed throughout a, a home, so it's not a huge collection, but it is extremely refined. And the idea was to get the epitome of a particular artist. So if you love George O'Keeffe's paintings of New Mexico, we have one of her master works of New Mexico. Um, Hudson River School landscapes of the 19th century. If you ever took art history, you'll recognize some, some paintings of Ronaldo, I, I can promise you that. And the exhibitions rotate through the house. So we have four galleries in the house and a big one in a newer wing. So it's not only the collection that you can always get to know and revisit, but new things coming in all the time. Yeah, let's talk about the pool because uh, also to have a pool that's still in use today uh, is pretty remarkable. Uh, the pool was added in 1936, and it's filled with water every day, so that's, I don't know of any country house or even a mansion of the Gilded Age or after, you know, where you can still see the water and see people sometimes swimming. So the kids that come for camps use it every day, and that, that whole section of Ronaldo is kind of an amusement park that was added into the house, so you can see a shooting gallery, a bowling alley, squash court, it's a fantastic bar. Yeah, um, that was my favorite part, the bar. <laughs> not open for business today. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. People love it. Um, so you get a sense of play in the house too, and really golf course, uh, polo fields, it was a place of play. Yeah. So you tour the house, and then the gardens are so special as well. Tell us about that. Gardens are a major attraction. Um, of the 170 acres, a lot of it is, is preserved the way it used to be, and the real uh, jewel in the crown is four acres of formal gardens that um, we're sometimes called an English garden, and that is because there's always something blooming. So here we are in October, but it's, it's full of flowers. Um, also sometimes called a Japanese garden because it has some, some really Jap Japanese uh, elements with some of the tea houses and some of the trees. Uh, but two acres of rose gardens and, and floral gardens, and then a vegetable and fruit section as well. Just incredible, and the villages attached here as well. There's so much to do when you're right in this area. I think Ronaldo is definitely a half day, if not a day, a day trip, because when you add in you know, eating in the village, um, uh, restaurants, coffee shops, uh, donuts, where they make every donut custom. Oh, like, like and it. I got to sample those. That was oh, incredible. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's the, the first thing to do here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so shops and restaurants and offices where you used to, you know, uh, where the ham was cured or where the cows were milked or where the employees, a lot of the employees lived. So, you know, I also get a sense of this as a bustling, self-sufficient farm, which is what she wanted as a 20-year-old, 24-year-old woman to have this place where everything was provided. Except the cigarettes, she had to send people to town to buy cigarettes. Really? See? Yeah. Well, such a special place. Thank you so much Thank for you. having us today. Thank you.